love new technology. We live to create it. We dare to challenge it, so it becomes better and easier. Turn the lights on and play my favorite playlist. Think of your smart speaker at home. How many times did you come home and try to start your favorite music and it didn't work? Because your smart speaker didn't quite understand you? Here is a fun fact. It's not because of you. The key is the microphone and the voice processing. If you have a good microphone, you have a good conversation. Imagine you have a device that can hear everything. Turn the lights on. With the increasing numbers of voice controlled devices, our needs and wishes towards technology raises too. They need to understand every command from within the room, but also if you are in the room next door. They need to work flawlessly, almost like an invisible assistant. Lower the volume of the music. With Infinium Premium MEMS microphones, you can finally have a device which never will miss any of your commands. It is time to be heard. Turn the lights off. Even from the room next door. We welcome Professor Han from Kyungpook National University, Korea. And his uh, he's received the PhD degree in Creative IT Engineering from the Pohang uh, University of Science and Technology, or which is called POSTEC, in South Korea. And uh, from 2018 to 2020, he was a postdoc associate with the Future Energy Electronics Center at Virginia Tech. And he's uh, currently an assistant professor with the School of Electronic Engineering, uh, Kyungpook National University, Taiku. And his research interests include the nonlinear system and control, the grid connected inverters, uh, energy storage system, and the controller design for power conversion systems. And today, uh, talks, yeah, his talk is about repeat, yeah, repetitive controller design for single power conversion inverters. So let's welcome Professor Han. So I will, I will turn off my session and you can start. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Uh, yes, we can see it. Uh, okay. I I guess start. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sorry, like I need to remind the, the audience a little bit, like uh during the presentation, like please uh, mute your microphone to like to reduce the noise, and also uh, you you can like make uh, raise the questions like in the chat box or after the presentation. Thank you. Okay, uh, I guess start. Hello, uh, my name is Byung Jo Han, and I'm an assistant professor at Gyeongbuk National University. It's my honor to give you the presentation at. Back webinar. Today, I will show you one of my representative research works, the reparative controller design for single power conversion inverters. Especially, I want to emphasize the control design for chip inverter, uh, which is one of the single power conversion inverters. In the first section of my presentation, I want to introduce myself and my representative research work. And I will, we will treat the background information about the single power conversion inverters and reparative controller. And then we will see the application of reparative controller for single power conversion. The first case is a chip system inverter. The second case is dual mode chip inverter. And then we also treat other application of reparative controller briefly. And then I will conclude my presentation. And firstly, uh, in my introduction, I, I received the PhD degree in smart control, smart control power system laboratory in post -tech. My PhD is based on reparative controller design for single state, single state chip inverter. After I graduated from post-tech, I worked at post-tech for five months and, 
and I moved to Virginia Tech Future Energy Electronic Center. My advisor was Dr. Jason Line, who is an ITPLI fellow. Now I'm working as an assistant professor at Gyeongbu National University School of Electronic Engineering. Uh, our, there are three graduate student members in my lab laboratory. Now, I, my journal papers are 11 papers. Among them, six papers have been published as the first author. This shows my representative project works. The first time I work on the control project about camp-based control unit development for electric vehicle. When I was the first year of my PhD course, my research area expanded to power electronic. I had worked on the project about power electronic circuit for fuel cell vehicle, uh, thermal energy, and solar energy. During my postdoc research work at Virginia Tech, I worked on two projects about game-based PV microinverter and induction heating cooker. Now I'm currently working on the project about development of game-based motor drive circuit, which is supported by South Korea company, as in STAP. Well, let's see the background information about single power conversion inverter and repetitive controller. My representative research subject is the high efficiency micro inverter for PV or TE thermal energy application. We can call it MIC, micro integrate converter. The conventional power generation system have the use of central inverter architecture in which several energy modules are connected to one central inverter. This architecture is easy to implement and it is the cheapest option. So it is, it, it is a preferred for large photovoltaic system until this day. However, this architecture has the critical problem such as shading or clouding effect. This problem drops the overall efficiency of the power generation system. To overcome this problem, MIC architecture has been presented. One MIC is installed for its energy module, so it can increase the utilization of energy module. This day, MIC become a main trend in the energy market. But the, as the power rating of the energy module is increasing, this condition requires the MIC to have more power capacity. A second. Okay. In order to design MIC, there are two options: two-stage inverter and single power conversion inverter. Two-stage inverter has a conventional design structure, which consists of setup boost converter and DC AC inverter. It is in it is easy to control this inverter and it can transport higher power according to topologies for first and second stage. But many high switching components yield relatively low efficiency and it requires bulky size diesel capacitor to retain high DC voltage. On the other hand, single power conversion inverter transform DC power into rectify AC power in a single step. And the unfolding bridge operate with low switching frequency to unfold the rectify AC <laughs> power. So this type of inverter can achieve the higher efficiency and lower cost compared to the existing two-stage inverter. This day, the power capacity of power, uh, PV module has increased. Today, the maximum power capacity of PV module is about 400 watt. So it is expected that it will be above 500 watt. In another case, to achieve the efficient battery module system, battery management, management system, in that case, the each battery module require MIC. 
Therefore, the MIC is required to have the higher power capacity. To make the, to make the MIC achieve the higher power capacity, I propose a tube-based microinverter. Compared to the existing fly bank microinverter, tube inverter can withstand higher power capacity and it can also reduce the filter size because of uh, continuous, continuous ripple of input current and output current. However, its transport function has two right path planes zero. So when the conventional PI controller is applied, its control gain is limited due to not enough phase margin. So it is difficult to control it because of the right path plane zeros. To solve the problem, I use a repetitive controller for tube microinverter. This controller repetitively adjusts the control input by using an error information obtained from the, from the previous cycle. From this characteristic, it can track the PRI output signal and it also suppress PRI grid disturbance. The bottom figure show the discrete time schematic of the repetitive controller. Uh, this is the time delay element for one grid period. The second one is low pass filter. Yes. Uh, this is a phase leak compensator, which can compensate for phase lag caused by the right path plane zero. So uh, this research object is to design trick based single power conversion inverter in the grid connected condition. To achieve the goal, we need to solve the problem about right half range zero and grid disturbance. Yeah. To solve this problem, yeah, I use the repair controller coupled with the phase lead compensation. From now, we will see how to design the repair controller for truck inverter. The first case is truck system inverter. Before modeling of tube inverter, we need to change the tube inverter circuit. By removing the onboarding bridge, the circuit can be represented as this equivalent circuit with a rectified AC output. This circuit can operate in two different modes, CCM and DCM. According to its operation mode, tube inverter experience two or three operating phases. In the first phase, main switch S1 is turned on, then current flowing to inductors get increased, like this. So at the same time, mediate capacitor C1 and C2 are discharged and its energy transfer into secondary side. We can drive the voltage and current equation for capacitor and inductor, and then we can transform the transform them into the state-space module for first phase. In the second phase, main switch S1 is turned off, then current flow into inductors get decreased. At the same time, the immediate C1 and C2 are charged from the input source. In the case of CCM, the circuit operation returns to the first phase, and there are two phases for the CCM operation of the chicken butter. But in the case of DCM, the current flowing to inductors continue to get decreased. So the second inductor current becomes even negative. We can also drive the state state model for second phase. When the diode current reaches to zero, the third phase gets started in only the same operation of chug inverter. Two inductor voltages are zero, zero, but their currents retain some value. Is this C offset value characterizes the chug inverter? unlike the other topologies, which have the zero inductor current in this phase. 
and the addition operation returns to the first phase. So there are three phases for the DCM operation of the tricky butter. And this show the safe space model for the third phase. Based on the obtained equation from the east phase, we can drive the average model. And then after linearizing the average model, we can calculate the transfer function in the continuous and discrete time domains. To DJ the controller in the discrete time domain, we will utilize this discrete time domain model. If we analyze this transfer function, the transfer function has two right half plane zero, which calls phase lag. Therefore, it is not enough phase margin to increase the PI control gains. Uh, let's say the effect of the right half plane zero. Even though this inverter has right half plane zero, the only PI controller can achieve the acceptable tracking performance in the register low condition. But when the grid utility is connected to this inverter, the high control gain is needed. The increase, but the increased control gain is limited due to the effect of right up to zero. So when you increase the PI gain, the output current becomes quite distorted. So we need other solution. It is the repetitive controller coupled with the phase lead compensator. In the check system inverter, the control objective is to make up current track the desired sinusoidal signal. The proposed control system consists of feed forward controller, feedback controller, and reparity controller with phase lead compensator. The second one is just a PI controller, which makes the overall control system stable, but it is not enough to obtain acceptable performance. The reparative controller is needed to achieve the just steady state, steady state accuracy. With the help of the phase lead compensator in the RC reparative controller, it can also compensate for the phase lag caused by the right half plane zero. PI controller just the conventional controller, and this reparative controller was mentioned earlier. So let's say the feed forward controller input. Using the 40 second balance law for two inductors in the true input circuit, we can drive the following equation from the from this waveform shown in the left figure. Combining two equation, we can calculate the nominal degree ratio equation with respect to input and output forties and tons ratio of transformer. This nominal degree ratio will be used as the feed forward control input. To derive the control parameters, we will, we will see the stability analysis of the overall control system. For the control stability analysis, we need to calculate the transfer function from the reference to the error. I will skip the detailed process for the stability analysis due to limited time. And the final step conditions are as follows. There are three step conditions. For the first step condition, PI control gain should be designed such that uh, this closed loop system is stable. And for the second condition, if we use the zero phase shift moving average filter, second condition could be satisfied. For the last step condition, we need to use the frequency domain approach. Thereby, the phase lead compensator step should be adjusted such that this inequality is met. This inequality means that the angle range of the combined closed loop system and phase lead compensator should be within 90 degrees. Based on these three step conditions, we can drive the control parameter. Now, let's see the experiment reserve. This is a prototype choke inverter. 
sorry, is, this is shooting butter. This is for the control board, including this board and get driver. And this inverter circuit is connected to the grid 220 volts, 60 hertz. This shows the components and parameter size using the prototype. And right, uh, the right top figure show the overall control system. Uh, using the last stability condition, we need to find the phase lead value. In the left figure, we can see the phase lag in the case without any phase lead compensator when it means that uh, M is zero. If we adjust the phase lead compensator M and then the frequency band to hold this inequality can be maximized. The optimal phase lead step is chosen such that the corresponding color frequency is maximum value. So we can choose that, this, this one. If you see experiment waveforms, when the only PI controller was used in the grid current kit condition, the up current was quite distorted because of nine interface margin. When the optimal phase lead compensation and RC were used, the quality of the up current became improved much more. In the wizard, the proposed inverter, chip inverter can achieve the higher power capacity with low THD and high efficiency. Let's the case of dual mode chip inverter. As a series of chip inverter, I also propose a dual mode chip inverter to achieve the low cost and high efficiency. To reduce the circuit cost, we need to decrease the, these inductance values. And then this inverter has two operating regions, CCM and DCM. At the low instantaneous power region, it operates in DCM. At high instantaneous power region, it operates in CCM. The DCM system has lower system gain while the CCM system has two right half plane zero. Because of two different system dynamics, so it is difficult to control it with only single phase lead compensation in the reparative controller. To overcome this control problem, I propose to use a multiple phase lead reparative controller. The overall control system is similar to the case of chip system inverter, but each control input was designed differently according to the operation region because of different dynamics models. Left, left part for the DCM operation and the right part is for the CCA operation. So according to the operation region, the control input mode should be changed, especially in order to compensate for the phase lag because of different models, we need to choose the different phase list step. Talking about the fit forward input, you know, the fit forward control input for CCM is derived by using volt seconds balance load for inductor. But the case of DCM is different. From this current waveform, we can calculate the average current. But this DC offset current IX make it difficult to control the average current. So to eliminate IX component, just combine two inductor currents. And then we can derive the normal due to ratio equation with respect to output power, equivalent inductance, this sampling period like this. So, and then um, let's say experiment result of dual mode chug inverter. Uh, sorry, yeah, we need to see that we need to check the boundary between the uh, two mode, two operation mode. Based on the nominal due to ratio value shown in the previous slide, we can find the boundary between CCM and DCM operation mode. 
uh, when the CCN nominal D2 ratio is more than uh, this same operation, in, in that case, yeah, in that case, the, the chuck inverter operate in DCM. Otherwise, uh, this inverter operate in CCM. From this aspect, we can drive the boundary boundary equation when the two no, two nominal D2 ratio values are same. So control input mode should be changed based on the optimum boundary condition. Show in the left top figure, the Vesely step and RC and PI gains were differently selected according to the operating region. Especially the Vesely step value is the key parameter. As in the right figure, the phase plot analysis is used to derive the optimum basically step value according to the operating region. With the obtained basically step value, this overall control system can achieve the stable performance in CCM and DCM operation region. In the region, the dual mode trick inverter can achieve the higher power capacity with low THD, high efficiency, and low cost. The research results published in this journal publication. Um, from now, we will see other application of the repaired controller quickly. The fuel cell energy is becoming a strong candidate and emerging as one of the primary microgrid power sources. Most of most of the fuel cell module produce the output voltage from 24 to 150 voltage. To apply the fuel cell module to practical application, such as grid connected power sources or electric vehicle, they add a converter to boost the low DC voltage into the high DC link voltage. Among the setup converter for fuel cell power conditioning systems, the current fit dual half bridge converter is considered as an attractive converter. But um, as we as we use this converter in the grid connected inverter environment, the pulsating power caused by the AC grid causes the DC link voltage ripple input current reapers with twice the grid frequency. The distilling voltage reaper makes it, make it difficult to achieve the soft switching region, GBS region of this current field half, dual half grid converter. The input current reaper causes the summer problem to fuel cell module, thereby it can reduce the lifetime of fuel cell module. To, to reduce this low frequency ripple, we usually use a bulky electrolyte capacitor at this link, which will decrease the converter lifetime and increase the converter volume and cost. In order to reduce the voltage and current ripple without any bulky size capacitor at this link, I propose to use a two repair controller with different base lead compensator. In the current fit your hot bridge converter, there, there are two control input, duty cycle and phase shift angle. So two different repair controllers can be designed differently to regulate input current ripper and voltage ripper by using two control inputs. As shown in the right figure, since we adopted the grid, uh, adopted the repair controller, we can see the cur current and voltage ripple get decreased dramatically. So the first one is the distilling voltage ripple. The second one is the input current ripple. So it, you see, as shown in this figure, we can see that decreased ripples. This research. This research feature also has been, has been published in, in this publication, in this journal publication. 
So in, in conclusion, so repaired controller is an attractive solution to track the periodic signal because it provides an infinite gain for the fundamental frequency and its multiple frequency. It can also uh, compensate for the phase lag caused by Rapa plan zero uh, with the help of phase lag compensator in the repellent controller. But it has some limitation. So it, it has slow, relatively slow conversion rate and trend response. Moreover, uh, to, re to utilize the repaired controller, we need to store the we need to store the error and control input information. So it requires more computation amount and more memory space. So, so to solve the problem, I try to I try to develop new scheme based on the repaired controller, such as the old harmony repaired controller. Um, we'll be able to reduce the sam sampling frequency for repaired controller. And when you when you use when you use inverter in great connected condition, great impedance can be changed. So we will be able to use the adaptive scheme, adaptive control scheme for basically compensation in the repair controller. Uh, this show my publication about repair controller. So another publication is review. So I hope that the more public, more publication, more publication, a more, more general paper will be published for, for the repair controller in various application. Yeah, I conclude my presentation. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your very nice presentation. Like you proposed a repetitive controller for the this kind of the chip inverter. And it's like can solve the the real problem, the practical problem for the yeah for the power converter in the PV application like this. And yeah, now it's time for for the audience can like raise the questions. So do you have any questions? Just please like raise your hand. Yeah, can type to the chat box. So the first question is from Buidai. So can you just like turn turn on your microphone and just like raise the question directly? Okay, thank you for the nice presentations. So I see uh, you you saw the problem in the truck inverter. So the truck uh, is a kind of bus bus converter. As far as I know, uh, in the bus and the bus bus we have uh, right half plane zero, right? So uh, in the bus, uh, as I know, we have only one. RSP0, mm -hmm. but in the truck now, uh, I see uh, we have a two, two RSP. So what is the difference in the control, control the method? If we have only one, it is more easier to control. Uh, okay, in the case of, in the case of one right by plane zero, in that case, there are uh, actually, they say, the one time, the, one time phase lag, but in the case of two right plane zero, there are two 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 wide phase lag. In that case, it is difficult to to achieve the um, achieve the acceptable phase margin. So, in that case, it's a hard to increase the PI control gain. That's the reason why it is difficult. It is difficult to control it. Okay, so uh, in the in. In the last part of presentation, uh, I see the fuel cell, the fuel mm -hmm. cell uh, beyond the current phase. So uh, in the fuel cell uh, beyond the current phase, we have uh, only one ISP, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so uh, I want to know how many ISP we, we have in the current phase topology uh, in the fuel cell. I think it's only one, right? Sorry, only one is what? What's mean only one? Uh, I mean, uh, in the current fast for the fuel shell, so we have only one RSP zero, right? We have a one or two RSP zero. 
I, I don't know what I right hand plan zero. Right hand plan zero. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. In the case there, uh, there, I we can drive. We can drive the two transfer function for in for the current current control and for the disabling voltage control. Uh, the second case in the in the case of, in the second case there there are one right hand plan zero. In that case, we need to. Uh, that the phase recompensator in the repair controller, but in the first case, uh, I couldn't see I couldn't see any repair plan zero in the tra its transfer function, so I just use the repair controller. Yeah, so we need to design design the controller differently according to the dynamic model. Okay, thank you. Could I have one more question? Mm -hmm. uh, so you you use the uh, the control for so the right right hand plane zeros. So mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the structure topologies, I think you try with the zeta and C peak. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is the difference? Zeta and C peak also have a right hand plane zero like Chuk's converter. Yeah, it's quite similar, but even though I couldn't show the Jetta case, but I've all, I've already published the journal paper about Jetta inverter. In that case, the, it it has it has also two right factor zero, so it, yeah, it's similar to the two inverter. So we need to design the design basic compensator to compensate for two right factor zero. Yeah, quite similar. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have a, uh, we have a link from the components to the right hand plane zero. Mm -hmm. for, for example, if the we uh, you use the four switch four switch bug boost, I mean four switch bug boost. We have uh, only one inductor, mm -hmm. so maybe we 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 have only one right hand plane zero. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a, we have a, a connection or the link between the COM0. Uh, I mean, in the, in the, the structure views. So mm -hmm. maybe, uh, maybe uh, I think you, you try with the four switch bug boost converter. I mean, the cascas bug boost converter. Uh, maybe it's the better than the chuk converter. Mm -hmm. It is my opinion. Oh, thank you for your opinion. <laughs> yeah. uh, I need to consider. Yeah, I need to. I need to analyze the circuit in the structure view. Yeah. So I, I. I need more time for the future research work. So I. I think as you mentioned earlier, as you mentioned earlier, according to the number of number of inductors, so. The number of right differential should be changed, so we need to consider about that. Yeah, thank you for your comment. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. And then the next one from Mr. Duc from Indu. Hello, Mr. Duc. Yeah, we cannot hear you. It looks your microphone got problems. So or you can type the your questions to the chat box and I can help you to to ask the speaker. Okay. So in order to set, set the time, so can go to Mr. Tat Thang Le first and then go back to Mr. Phạm Minh Đức after he, he fixed the microphone. Okay. Uh, thank you for uh, I'm Thang Le from Seoul, uh, Seoul Tech Courier. Uh, I very thankful for your nice presentations and have I have one question about uh, topology actually uh, as I understand you use cook universe uh, converter for uh, PV 
a mixed system, MIC system. So you will propose you, you propose the uh, repetitive uh, controller for improvement uh, for improving the THD of grid current, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, as I as I I also some 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 research about it, but uh, the conventional converter they will use some like flyback based converters for 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 PV mix system. And do you have any comparison, or can you give us some 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 reason why you analyze this the two converter, and that maybe that have some pros and cons or something? Yeah, and that's that's my first question. Yes. Uh, okay, I will show the comparison between the flyback and yeah, chuck inverter. Yeah, in that case, in the case of flyback inverter. Alter the the utilization of transformer is not good because the, it is only un, uh, unidirection unidirection utilization. But when you when you use the chuck inverter, in that case, utilization of transformer is bidirectional, so it can increase the power capacity up to about the five hundred watt. In my experience, the flyby in the inverter it cannot increase power capacity. Uh, up to 300 watts. So to increase power capacity, we need to use the two transformer. So yes. it, after I if I see the limitation flyback, I try, I, I I've got to try to use the chuck inverter for micro micro inverter. Um, yes. Okay. I see. Mm -hmm. I had one more question related to the flyback. Is uh, uh, you you propose the repetitive controller for chuck convert, inverter but in the flyback converter that have the same problem or not well, i mean is can you apply this that uh, this controller is useful for flyback inverter or not yeah i can i can utilize it uh, if some guys have already have already published journal paper about repetitive controller for flyback inverter but in that case it has the only one right up and zero or even though it has the two right paper and zero in some region, but even it is not significant because the not significant. yeah because the the fre frequency it means that the the phase rate of course is relatively high frequency band, so it, it's less difficult to control the control it. it. It is less difficult to increase the control gain. Yeah. Yeah okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Thank. Thank you for, for, thank your, for your question. Okay. So the questions from Dr. Luke is, uh, could you please compare the repetitive controller and the proportional resonant controller, the PR controller? As oh. I know, the proportional resonant controller is also better than the traditional PI controller. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for for the question. Yeah, so we need to. It is very important compare compare the, between the proportional resonant uh, proportional resonant controller and repetitive controller. It's quite similar because the proportional resonant controller also has the very large gain at the specified frequency, so we can use that one. So, but repetitive controller case in the case of repetitive controller, it has the a very large gain at fundamental frequency and multiple frequencies. So, with using the only using one repetitive controller, we can achieve the we can achieve the compensation of multiple harmony. Yeah, but PR, in the case of PI controller, we need to use the multiple regional controller. In addition, to compensate for compensate for the phase lag. Because by right by plan zero, we need to additional, we need to design the additional basically compensator, uh, compensator uh, with the proportional resonant controller. In that case, the, the con it is quite hard to design the control parameter. Yeah, that's the reason I propose to use a repair controller with basically compensator. That's it. Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks like the, yeah. 
So the next question is from Bai Yandi. So I will read the questions. Uh, thank you for your presentation. What is the control board type and can be all the advanced control algorithms can such as the SMC utilize in such control board? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, could you repeat again? So it looks like uh, Bai Yandi, he asked about the what type, what kind of controller you are using, and then this controller, I, I mean the DSP or like yeah, the DSP control. So the microcontroller you are using here can use for the advanced control algorithm or not, let's just as the SMC. Oh, I I use the DSP TI the F two eight F two eight three seven seven D, and even though I didn't use the dual power, but yeah, if. It's over spec, but okay. Yeah. And the another question is from Mr. Yu from South Korea. Uh, he asked the questions. Uh, did you consider about the soft switching on the single switch of the chuck inverter when you design a controller or not? No, it's just the hub switching, but in the case of current with dual hub switch converter, in that case, soft switching, um, such as GBS. Yeah. So in the case of chicken butter, it's just hub switching. I didn't consider the soft switching. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. so uh, another question is from uh, Dr. Yui Din Win. Yeah, he, he can ask the questions directly. So. Okay, thank you. For, thank you for your very nice presentation. This is uh, Jane from Hanoi University of Science and Technology. I have one uh, question regarding your uh, controller. This is the first time I attend one uh, presentation regarding repetitive control technique. I heard about it before, but uh, never uh, do it. Then in your presentation you compare between uh, pi and repetitive control uh, so far as i know uh, pi controller is uh, like uh, four and zero placement of the open loop system right then uh, when you control you, when you design a controller actually you are placing zero and four into uh, the real and uh, image uh, frame and i just wonder how your repetitive controller affect the point and zero placement of the closed loop uh, or open loop system could you explain that yeah, actually uh, to see the phase margin it to see the phase margin we need to see the body plot of open loop system right yeah as you see but i i uh, I show the page plot in the case. Yeah, uh, this is show the page plot of actually closed loop system, uh, closed loop system, not open loop system. It is because the uh, from the stability analysis, the the system system analysis uh, we need to analysis the closed loop system it is so uh, it is quite different from uh, what we know about you know, about in terms of open loop closed loop system so actually the if we if we analyze the open loop system we we also we, we also be able to see the phase lag in the case of without any phase lag compensation is like this but in this this analysis is quite a little different. So in this stability analysis, so I, I just show the compensation of base lag caused by the black hat plan zero. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I, sorry, I don't really understand your question, uh, your, your answer. Uh, so I, my conclusion is the quite different from the, the conventional stability analysis using the closed uh, open loop system. So in the in terms of open loop closed loop system, the phase phase lag of body fly is is not compensated. So it is difficult. Uh, it is different. Okay, so you mean that uh, it is not 
uh, act like behave like a compensator, right? Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but when you add your com uh, repetitive controller, mm -hmm. you introduce some poles or zeros into uh, the system, right? And it may affect the spa uh, stability um, of the whole system, right? And you are considering the closed loop system and you want the closed system uh, closed loop system to be uh, stable, right? Yes, then right. I, system, yes. Yeah. Then I meant uh, if you consider only the closed loop system instead of the open loop system, you may have to use another uh, like uh, the criteria when you design. And also, uh, I meant the introduced poles and zeros may uh, place somewhere in the board diagram or uh, um, real image uh, system, then I just wonder where, actually, where they will be placed. Do oh, you understand me? Yeah, I understand you, but sorry, I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear you actually, so yeah, there is some much noise. Okay, okay, sorry. It's better like uh, you can just send an email to ask him directly. Mm. Yeah, because okay, it's, it's okay. quite complicated. Like, yeah, it's related to the like very complicated controller here. Mm. So you can yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah, you can, you guys can just like uh, send an email and then like, yeah, try to make the collaboration as well. Okay, okay. Yeah. Actually, this is a complicated problem, I think. Then I will be in touch with you later. Thank you very yeah, much. Okay, thank you for your question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so anyone has any questions? Okay. So, Mr. Tung Nguyen, do you have any questions? Hi, Professor. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, thanks for your presentation. So my question is just simple. So in your job investor, so I would like to ask how did you create your reference sinusoidal signal and how which, which signal you need to feedback for your controller? Uh, I to make this reference Sinusoid waveform, I just use a conventional PLA algorithm. Uh, I show the control diagram. Mm. Yeah, you like this. So uh, by sensing the voltage, great voltage we've able to mm. obtain the sinusoid waveform like this, right? So, and then we need to calculate the uh, magnitude of current based on the required power thereby we'll be able to obtain the reference of up current. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, because you talked this slide so fast, so I didn't recognize. So uh, yeah, it, it, actually, it depends on the algorithm of PLL. I just, I just, I just use the conventional PLL algorithm based on not filter. Okay, okay. Thank you for the question. Okay, thank you. I think it's time, yeah, to to move to the next presentation. And yeah, thank you very much for your nice presentation.